Greetings and a spooky hello, it's Halloween. So today I'm gonna to get some fun little paints out that I've made myself. It's just flour, water, salt, and a little bit of food dye for color. Uh, and we're gonna do up drill here as an Indian war horse, minus most of the traditional uh, markings that they use. I'll be putting little photos in throughout this video of some other suggestions that you could do on your own horse. But today we're gonna to go with some markings that are they have some meaning to me on a personal level, but still using traditional markings. So let's get the paint out, change out a halter and let's get into it. A few days ago, I made up some horsey friendly paint right at home, uh, mostly due to being a little bit hard to get hold of some uh, tempera paint, which would have been preferable, already pigmented, and it's uh, reportedly quite easy to wash off of horses as well. But in this case, I've made my own, which I'll put a description in uh, below, so you can make up your own from flour, water, salt, and food dye. Now we did a little test patch just before, um, it does actually work better if you wet out the design first. So let's get on that and then I'll show you the design I'm going to start with today. So we're going to put a sun on her shoulder and I'll be putting descriptions in below as to what each of these mean as well. Now Jules is a little agitated at the moment because we've got some Rather annoying flies buzzing around again as per the season. Okay, so that's the design mocked out. Let's get the color and make it look pretty. Now the only downside to these homemade paints is the color pigment isn't quite as strong as your prefabricated paints that you could easily buy online. Uh, this was just easier to do at such short notice. So the sun design is just a circle with four long lines at north, south, east and west. And then some shorter double lines in between each of those. Now, of course, depending on the color of your horse, uh, you may need to put more than one coat on to get the color to really pop. Uh, as you can see on Jewel, the yellow in particular does tend to hide a little bit on her coat. Also, I... um, now, if you're making up your own like I have at home, you'll want the consistency to be similar to thick custard. Um, I've actually made this a little bit runnier than I'd prefer, uh, but I know for future that I need it a little bit thicker for the paint to sit better on the fur. So this is design one, the sun, which again I'll put a description in below as to what each of these markings I'll be doing today mean. Okay, so we'll let that one dry and then we'll add a little bit more coat to it to really make that pop. So this one done, let's move on to the others and see how she really looks as an Indian painted horse. So the design I'm doing now is double arrows, uh, cross arrows, sorry. and it means friendship. So just like the yellow, because Jules got dark fur, she will require more than one coat for this to really pop. So here we're just doing a single straight arrow, which if memory serves, it means great victory or brings victory. 
Okay, and that completes the single arrow. This one, you don't need to be particularly neat for it, thankfully, because what we're doing here um, is we're putting a nice big red spot right on the chest point, and the Indians believed that it meant a brave heart. But as you can see, red on brown shows up pretty well. Nice and messy, just the way we like it. Hey, Jewel. Okay, so we're going to be putting a handprint right on this point of her bottom. I can't remember what the handprint means, but as per all the other ones, I'll be putting what each one means in the description box below. So, plenty of paint on my hand, and then I just get to go splat. And then what I'll do in a moment is I'll get the brush and just make sure I really define the handprint. Okay, so last time I attempted this, Jill wasn't particularly happy with the concept, but once she realized what I was doing, she settled down to an extent, so we'll see how she does today. So we're gonna put a circle around her eye, which they believed it enhanced the senses, so it was, some, it was done around one or both eyes and sometimes the nostrils as well. They believed that it enhanced their senses during, um, during battle. That'll do her. Good girl. Okay, so there's a completed circle on her eye. And now for the bands for her nose. Okay, so these ones go across the bridge of the nose, they're just simple stripes. And if, if memory serves, uh, they were counts of war victories or war honours. Uh, two means a little something to me personally, so we'll go with two stripes today. Okay, and that's that one just about complete and we'll come back with a second coat once it's almost dry. Okay, so the next marking we're gonna do, we're gonna put a mountain symbol on her hind quarter, uh, which if memory serves, it means uh, great abundance. As with most of Jules' ones where it's on dark fur, they will need another coat when it's almost dry, but there is her mountain. Hey, sweetheart. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a single zigzag line down her leg. I can't actually fully remember what this one means, uh, but I'll be putting a description in below with its meaning. Okay, we now have a painted pinto. So we'll start at the head, we'll show her off a little bit. She's got the circle around her eye and the bars on her nose. And this side, we've got the sun. We've got, you know, got lightning down her leg, which actually, if memory serves, it uh, was supposed to mean strength and speed, if her memory serves. And she's got a handprint on the top of her rump. and the double arrows on her hindquarter. And we'll scoot around the other side. We'll have a look what she's got there. So she's got the mountains on this side, single arrow on her shoulder, and finishing off with the red dot on her chest. A little bit of Halloween fun for her this year and she has been extremely patient with me. I'm quite proud of her. So from Jewel and myself, we'd love to wish you a very safe and happy Halloween. Lots of trick-or-treating. Hey Jewel. 
And as always, guys, if you have a question for myself or Jewel here, drop a comment below. We'd be pleased to hear from you and answer any questions you have in a Q&A video. Until next time, we'll catch you later. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with what's going on in our world.